That's the all-seeing eye, guys. You see it? They're always watching you. They're watching your comments. They're monitoring you. They know where you live. They know what you eat. They know your habits. They know everything about you. They know more about you than you know about yourself. All because you have a cell phone, guys. Or a media device. See that? Pay attention to that, guys. Not the, what's in the center, but those dots around the outside. Because you're going to see that more and more in the media. The star of REM fan. Right. Pay attention. But this video isn't about that. Even though everything is about that. This is a flashlight, guys. Special flashlight. This can put out 800 amps. To more than your car battery. For a short, short burst of time. It charge it. This can charge your cell phone 15 or 20 times, guys. Has a 2.1 amp power up at USB, and uh, it charge up in several uh, over the course of a night. It fully charge. It charged up last night. It was down to two dots, guys, and uh, by this morning it was fully charged. It has a torch of a flashlight built in. This out this outshine the sun, guys. It's so bright. <laughs> Like the sun shining on the sidewalk, if you shine this light from 10 feet away, it'll light up the sidewalk, even with the sun in a perfectly clear sky. I'm going to show you guys how this works. Dad and sister came by yesterday, guys. Dad's battling uh, some health issues, but uh, it was so nice to see our family. It's been years, years. You came into this world with your family, guys, make sure you leave with them. This world is separating people. It is destroying the family unit. Be aware. I'm not going to get into that right now, guys. But So these are the jumper cables that come with this flashlight, guys. It's not huge. Lithium ion powered. So this will tell you if you've if you're got it uh, connected backwards, reverse polarity, low lithium battery protection, uh, thermal protection. Over current protection and green's ready to start. Plug it in, guys. There, hook up the red to the positive, the black to the negative, and you could jump start your car even on a completely dead battery. Plus, this has a built in. There it is. Sorry. Ah, hold on. I haven't figured that part out yet. It's two clicks. Very bright strobe light, guys. These are very handy. Very handy. Like I said, you could jump your car. That's a, that's for charging. The right side port, charge. Obviously, it says charge. And the USB output puts out 2.1 amps, guys. And, uh, yeah. That can, that can save your tail, guys, in a hurry. Handy. And you don't have to worry about messing up your own vehicle. God forbid. Because a lot of people think you could just hook jumper cables up and jump any car it doesn't work like that guys sometimes you can uh you can mess up a car's computer if you if you don't know what you're doing especially today's cars are finicky guys point one difference of a volt guys can make the difference between a burnt up wire harness or uh too much amperage can cause major damage blow fuses even which is there to prevent electrical damage but yeah guys uh my dad and my sister drove down North Carolina on their way to Florida. And uh, it was a blessing to be able to see them. It's a blessing to be able to see them. And pay attention to what's happening, guys. Because life is not going to get easier in the USA. It's just going to get more and more difficult, guys. And the team players are not team players at all. They're your representatives in go government and Congress. Who aren't actually doing what, they're, what the Constitution... Uh, it was designed to funnel them into doing. They're not here for you guys. They're here to support big business. The weapons manufacturing guys. That's why there's war happening right now. And you don't see. You will not see the truth in mainstream media. You have to do your research due diligence guys. Look around. Open your eyes and open your heart. There's a holy book that describes these days perfectly. And how do you know it's these days? Well, because Israel is a nation. Israel exists as a nation, guys. 
Jesus, Jesus, everything in the Bible, guys, is a reflection of this world. You, you can't even make sense of this world without looking through the Word. Put your faith in God through Jesus Christ. You cannot know God without knowing the earth representation of God, which is Jesus Christ, guys. And you must believe to receive. Receive what? The rebirth. That is real. Real. Guys, it's more real than me talking in this video right now. Because what I am is temporary. But what is eternal, guys, cannot be understood without the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, you must be born again. Well, how do you be born again? Can you go back into the womb and then come out? And be born again. He's not talking about that. And it's the same for the baptism, guys. And John was baptizing, and uh, it was represent. It was a physical manifestation of a spiritual baptism. Well, dipping your head under water does nothing, guys. Dip your heart in God through faith in Jesus Christ, and you may be born again. Being born again, guys, is to receive. Literally, the Holy Spirit of God in your own flesh. When God removes your stony, cold heart, or your deceptive, lust-filled, pride-filled heart, and puts in the heart of understanding and long-suffering, grace, guys, love, compassion, right? Love your neighbor as yourself. And you got too many people that smile at their neighbors. As soon as they turn their back to their neighbor, they're cursing them. That's disgusting and disturbing. And it's part of the reason we're seeing such a divide in this country. But here's prophecy, guys. It's not going to stop. We're going to see more and more problems. Things are going to get worse. The people that were surviving on what their meager earnings are going to be on the street in mass numbers. Right? And I want to say one more thing before I get off this video. We love you guys. All of you guys. Whether you believe or not, we still love you because it's that love that God gives us through the rebirth, guys, that gives us the understanding to know you're not going to know what we know unless you know what we know. And there's only one way to know what we know, guys. And that is by turning your heart to God through repentance, faith, prayer, fasting, guys, and there's so many other things. But it boils down to two principles, guys. Are you serving Yourself in the world through the devil? Or are you serving God? You must make your choice, guys, because there's no promise of tomorrow today. Now, I'm not sure if YouTube is going to let me post this video, guys. They blocked my comments completely. Every single day says one day, one day, one day. Because I tell the truth. I'm not scared of losing my YouTube account. I don't care about YouTube, guys. It's, it's part of the mainstream media deceptive device funnel that they all have you guys all suckered into... Believing that what you see on TV is the truth or what you see on your phone because it's MSNBC or CNN or even Fox News that is the truth. They're all of their father the devil, guys. They're not in it for you or for your family. They're in it for themselves. They support themselves, guys, not you. We have a drug scourge happening in this country right now, guys. It's taking the lives of 100,000 plus a year. So what is Biden doing? Well, we need workers. We need to... We need to exaggerate these job numbers, guys. So these immigrants, the immigrants that fill these jobs, it ain't going to work. It's not going to work. The system is broken. Why? Because this country was founded on Christian beliefs, guys. On Christian moral beliefs. Right? That's all been undermined, guys. It's been undermined by the devils working right in front of you all and you can't even see it. What happened in Afghanistan, guys? Well... They were there. The U.S. military was there making sure they protect the uh, opium fields, guys. Well, why'd they pull out so fast? Biden didn't do anything good. He did that because of fentanyl. And all of a sudden, opium has no value because there's a much stronger killer on the street named fentanyl, guys. That's why the U.S. pulled out of Afghanistan. Do not be deceived. Do not buy into this media propaganda bull crap because that's all it is. To keep the money coffer, to keep the money flowing and the coffers full for them. But for you, you get the tears, guys. We get the, the quote-unquote shitty end of the stick. Well, you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way in my life. The love of money is the root of all evil, guys. And you're seeing it manifest in the U.S. today. Goodbye.